Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the 4th of August and starting with uh, Alphabet Google here. We'll also be looking at Netflix, uh, NVIDIA and let me just find my list here. Yeah, so Google, Netflix, NVIDIA and um, and Organovo. So um, with Google here, we've been looking at it at like the, we've been looking at it in two ways. We've been looking at it like this, and we've also been looking at it on the four-hour chart with Wave Four sitting over here as well for this. So I, I think that um, most of the stocks that we see uh, around the place are pretty much pulling back in a Wave Four. So it's pretty much that this would be the Wave Four here, and this would be looking for wave one and two over in this space over here for this. So this is pretty much what we've got on the four hour chart here uh, that we've been working with. And we can just adjust this now as well uh, in terms of our buying, buying op. So first of all, we can bring, we've had this up here. We can bring this down to these highs here. This is the way that we move forward. It's, a nice safe way to go. The thing here though is that um, it looks like we can be completed as the A wave, the B wave and one and two and three and four and five here. So we can have this completed right now here on this low, but I'm not gonna go buy it right on the low here. We wanna wait for support here, okay? So, if it's because if it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail from here, you know? So we allow this to come up have the arrival and then the reaction, which it kind of has done already with this, and then to push up through here with a lot of effort and then drop back and then, you know, work its way here. And then we go along here for this. And then we'll have our set our target up there at 1650 for that. And we'll be looking for five waves there. So that's what we'll do. We'll just, we've dropped this one, this down to here. We'll leave it there because because we want to get the next high, which will be this high here, and then we can bring it down to this high. So I'm just just working two steps ahead here. By all means, buy it here, but you would have to, if it's a portfolio buy, fantastic. But um, otherwise, um, as a trade, then we want to go from one level to the next level. And the 1500 is a medium level, and the 1650 is also a medium level as well. And uh, I won't go into that right now, but... Um, uh, we want support on that level. And that's what we do with the trading levels. We trade to a level, we get out, and then we wait for support. So over here, if, just hindsight, if we were trading this, we would trade to here, we would get out. And then... then we just wait for the setup, which would come way over here for this. So time is money, and you can use that money um, in another setup, in another place, just rotating um, your positions in amongst different stocks. But the problem is most of the time is that most stocks will be uh, doing the same thing. Um, they can be out of whack a little bit um, in terms of leaders and followers. But then we also have different sectors as well, which can also help us with that diversity. Enough yakking. Let's move on to and watch a movie, Netflix. So we're on the four hour chart here. I'll just stay here for this. And uh, we've been looking at this pulling back uh, through here. And we're just really waiting. Once again, the same thing as well. We could have bought on the low. Um, if it's a portfolio buy, that's fine. Um, but otherwise we'll wait for support on this major level here, which is number five here for this. So we need that tested support sitting on that uh, level at that point. Um, let me just check, you know, that's okay. So I'll just leave that that. I mean, last time we spoke, we were down here somewhere. Uh, we, we talked about buying this for like portfolio kind of thing. So that's okay if you've done that anywhere in this space here whatever on within group and that's the good thing here they've got once you understand the levels a little bit you got the midpoint here at 450 then you've got 65 72 and 80 so you've got group two there so group two is always you know the first support below a level um 
at this case, we're talking about 500, but we could be talking 100, 200, 300. We could be talking about any number as such. So um, understanding group two and group one is, 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 a, um, is just helpful. Okay, so we're going to be looking at NVIDIA here. So let me just bring that up here. I mean, this is this is you know this is a little bit animated here in terms of a little bit large, but it's the same thing. You know, we're we're waiting for the first high above the level, um, and then we got the second one to come in here, and then we're being triggered. You could have, could have, would have, should have <laughs> um, done this better, but I think it's good to talk about hindsight a little bit. So we use this level here. We can drop it down to that level, but we could have dropped it down to this level here as well for that. OK, um, but we didn't. I think it was just there, not the matter. Um, but yeah, this is trending up nicely and will continue to trend up. So um, these these are the chip makers that we're following. So um, NVIDIA and uh, TSM, which is the Taiwan Semiconductor. These are the two main ones. Um, uh, Intel. Uh, has got difficulties and uh, AMD has picked up on on, on that to that that uh, market share. So that's um, fantastic. But even AMD is not not in the race really compared to these guys and uh, TSM. And there's also. So other chip makers as well, like Tesla's part of uh, chip making. They, they, as I mentioned last week, I think uh, Apple. They had to develop their own chip for their mic for their phone. Um, Tesla had to develop their own chip for their electric vehicle, amongst other things as well. They're developing. So as I mentioned before, Tesla is just not a car company anymore. It's much more diversified. Um, such as air conditioners in, in, in a normal car need an, and uh, need a belt to drive that air conditioner. Tesla had to create their own um, air conditioner, which now could be used in, in homes. So with their solar panels and their car being plugged into their home, you know, that's those devices, the home becoming, you know, a device that talks to your vehicle and so on. So that, you know, it's really quite a different, uh, a different world that's opening up uh, and people are only just starting to realise it, and uh, I wish I'd realised it a little bit earlier as well. But um, anyway, better late than never. Um, anyway, the bigger picture here for us is that we will look at this wave four here, and we'll look at this as wave one and two in here, and one and two, and building in here is a bit of a third wave. Where that gap is, is be the third of the third. So it's still going to push up uh, here further. We've got um, the four, let's just talk about the levels for a moment. We've got, we don't need this one here. I need to save space. So we'd have one, two, and three here. So 10, 20, and 30 that make up group one. Then we've got the midpoint here. So 450. And then we've got, you guessed it, 80 here. And then we've also got here, which we'll put in here, 65 and 72 in here all shape i'll just do that while i'm here otherwise i just end up with messy charts if i don't do it here and now and i just want to get that working a little bit better here as well on the 465 and yeah so it really maps out out the these are all the places that a, you know, are going to be the resistance that you need as support. I mean, the 440 where it is here, I mean, that's important and you can use it. I'm not sticking my head in the sand. I'm just giving you the shell here. So one, two, three that make up group one, the midpoint and eight. So these are minor levels. Then you can go down to sub levels and then you can go down to micro levels. So as you know, it's very helpful. I'm not saying that it's going to pull back way down here, but um, we don't know just yet how what's going to cause this. I mean, we kind of got an idea, really. Um, how deep will wave two go? 
it can go anywhere from really, you know, 40% to like 99% of wave, you know, of, of that whole structure of all of wave one, really, you know. So uh, we'll see, see, see what, um, see what comes at that point. Okay, Organovo is the next one. Novo meaning new organ, so new organ. Oops, Daisy. Well, it's not quite like that. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, here we go. Right, so um, as you may know, this company is in the early stages of medical laboratory and research company. It designs and develops functional three-dimensional human tissue for medical research and therapeutic applications. Now, as I've explained before, uh, I won't go into the bigger picture here, but this particular pattern here uh, is is how trends start. It's the beginning of the trends in in a way, and we're we're seeing that with um, um, with Bitcoin at the moment. It's gone through a couple of these patterns here, but it's still still using these patterns, um, and it's in a trend to the upside now as well. Um, and they're just they're just fractal patterns, and uh, and um, they're just they're reoccurring. So, I mean, this particular large pattern here is really the same as this little pattern in here. So we've had the move down, the move up here, and then the sinking down here. So we've had the move down, up, and the sinking. So this is bigger and a bit more developed. Um, and yes, they are news driven. These things and. Um, you need to be in them before, you know, before that happens. So if this drops down further, we'll buy it again. Um, if it moves up onto and gets support, takes these out, we'll buy it here as well because it doesn't really matter where you buy it. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be buying leveraged products within in this. You just want the, the straight share because um, you don't want to expose yourself to, to that kind of risk. But, um, yeah, anyway, this is our penny stock. And it's going to be a disruptor and innovator, and uh, it's certainly got space to move higher. The next level up here, by the by, is one. So we've gone one, two, three, five, eight, and then back to one using the power of 10. And from one, we go to two. And between one and two, we'll have the Fibonacci numbers one, two, three, five, and eight. That's it, folks. Um, yep, covered the stocks I needed to cover in this video. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, appreciate your support. Cheers.